Hello and welcome to the UC application tutorial series hosted by UC Santa Barbara. This workshop will detail how to work through how to list multiple high schools on your application. Students who have attended more than one high school will be able to report this in the academic history section of the application. Please note that the UCs do not request any transcripts with the application. Therefore, applicants are responsible for self-reporting all of the A3G coursework within this section. The A3G courses are essentially the core courses that we require students to complete for all UC campuses. It is recommended that you obtain an unofficial copy of your transcripts before you begin working on this section, as it is very important that the courses and grades you enter correspond exactly with what appears on your transcript. The application will prompt you to add the high school or high schools you've attended. If you attended multiple high schools, you will want to add them chronologically, beginning with the first high school that you attended. First, you will need to specify whether your high school was in California, out of state, or outside of the US. You will also be able to select a specialized curriculum, if applicable, such as homeschool or independent study. You will then be able to search for your specific high school. Please be sure that you select the correct high school in the correct city. Specifically for California applicants, your high school selection will affect the course offerings you will see in the next portion of the academic history section. However, if your high school is located in a different state or country, you will first need to specify which state or country before you are able to search for your school using that search bar. Again, be sure that you select the correct school in the correct state and city. If you attended more than one high school, you will need to repeat this process for each school that you have attended through the end of your high school graduation. If you are not able to find the high school you are looking for, make sure to follow the suggestions under can't find your school. This includes making sure your spelling is correct and leaving words like high school or academy out of your search. Keep in mind that you can always search using the city the high school is located in or using a school code. If you are searching for a high school outside of California or outside of the US and cannot find it using the search bar, you can use the manually enter school option to enter it. Once you have either found your high school or selected to enter it manually, you will then enter the dates in which you attended the school, as well as the grades and academic terms. If you took summer school courses, be sure to check the appropriate box so you will be prompted to enter those courses as well. The application is then going to ask you about the grading system at your high school, whether you received your marks on an A to F scale or a zero to 100 scale. If you have an alternate grading system, please do let us know. Finally, you'll check the box next to the appropriate term system or in other words, how many official grades did your school post on your transcript each year? If you are entering a school located outside of the US, you will have more options available to select from as far as grading scales. If you attended more than one high school, you will need to repeat this process for each high school that you have attended through the end of your high school graduation by clicking add another high school. If you are done entering high schools at this point, you will, should see a list of all of the schools that you have attended. And if all looks correct, you can select I finished adding high schools and you will be able to begin entering the high school courses you completed at each school. Transfer students, you need to list each college attended. Cross enrollment is common. We want to know each school that you took courses at. I hope this information has been helpful. If you have any questions about UC Santa Barbara, please feel free to email UCSB for me at sa.ucsb.edu. We are happy to help applicants and counselors in any way that we can. Continue watching this playlist as well as our other tutorial playlists on our YouTube channel for assistance in filling out your UC application. Best of luck to you in the application process and thank you for joining.